morning, good morning, good morning. Today is my one week post-op from my BBL surgery. And I am going to start all fresh with you. So I'm gonna let you guys know all the juicy details um, of what they don't tell you in the BBL, of what they do tell you, um, you know, all the do's and don'ts, what's true and what's not. Um, as far as my clinic, uh, which they did a very good job and I would recommend them so I would listen to them um, also I am going right now to I'm about to go pick up some mirrors because I, I, my long mirror has broke and I need to show you guys my body um, one week post-op which I think is beautiful and so it's only gonna get better so I'm gonna show you guys how I get into the car real quick with my BBO pillow to drive, which honestly, this is gonna be my first time. I have not driven with my BBO pillow. Like I said, it's my first week. I just got back home. I flew back in last night. Um, thank the Lord that we flew in safely. I am gonna show you guys now how I sit on my BBO pillow. Well, how I'm going to sit on my BBO pillow to drive. So. If you guys can see, this is the video right here, um, which was $80 at my clinic. I don't know about other people's. So, you want to, of course, pull your seat down, you know, from the side. You want, your seat has to be down, like all the way down, because if not, you're not going to be able to get your knees in. put my seat up well I put my seat back so that I'm able to get in comfortably all right almost there all right so I'm all the way back I'm as far as I can go and um you're just gonna go ahead and get in the car so but the way you're gonna go ahead and get in the car is you don't want to hit your butt on anything and you don't want to hit your hips on anything because you're losing fat cells trust me so what I do is I hold on to my door and I put one leg in, okay, and I scoop my butt, I scoop my butt, scoop my butt, but make sure your leg, you know, is all the way under the wheel, that first leg, because then you can get your rest of your body in easily and you just slowly scoot in <laughs> and then you can throw your other leg in. Now, to be honest with you guys, it is a lot and it's pressure on you, but you're also helping yourself by not remaining, you know, incapable of doing it. So I like to push myself because I know that if I don't, I'm going to be dependent. And if there's one thing about me, I'm not too dependent. I don't do well with being dependent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you guys, I'm in. Let me put this up here real quick. This in. Okay guys, so I'm in. And I'm on top of my butt pillow. I need to move it over a little bit. And it's non-slip at the bottom, so you won't have to worry about it slipping while you're driving. I gotta get it a little bit more comfortable. So your butt... All of this, your hips, and your, your butt, your ass, it needs to be hanging over the pillow. If you guys can see that, it needs to be hanging over the pillow. So you want your back thighs to be on the pillow. That's all you want to be on the pillow. Nothing else. So your ass cheeks, don't forget needs to be hanging off of the butt pillow okay so now i'm able to pull my seat back up to as far as i need it to go to be able to touch the wheel especially with this um butt pillow y'all gotta be a little close close okay so my butt's not you know what i mean on the chair now my headrest is kind of annoying that's the only thing that's like kind of annoying because okay there goes it went back <clears throat> all right guys so i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna hold you because like i told you it's my first time 
trying to drive with my butt pillow. This is a little uncomfortable, um, but I gotta go to the store. So, it's just like when you're sitting in the hair salon to me and um, you get that, like, <laughs> you get that heater on your head and that heater be hot. The uh, blow dryer, that should be hot for me. And in my head, all I can think about is, you know, beauty is pain. You no, know? so that's kind of how I think about my um, uncomfortableness or uncomfortability. Let me know which one was correct because honestly, it's too early in the morning. I'm scrabbled. I don't know. But um, that's how I get, you know, over the pain. Or should I say discomfort? Because I, I'm not lying to you guys when I tell you I this is my uh seventh day like i said my first week post-op and i did not have those problems that other people that were doing it had i did not have those problems i feel like you know i had i'll show you guys my medicine bottles also when i come back in my doctor is very well they prescribed me um a lot they prescribed me muscle spasm pills they prescribed me two painkillers, um, nothing heavy, and they prescribed me some antibiotics, which I'm almost finished. So, I haven't even taken my pain pills, to be honest with you guys, in about, after my third day, I haven't taken any. Now, when I get my massages, which I haven't gotten um, my massage since Monday, I had four massages since went to, when I was out in Miami, which I recommend her to everyone. Um, but, I my um pain level my pain tolerance level must be high because i didn't have to take my pain pills after the third day unless i was getting my massage an hour before my massage best believe your girl's popping a pain pill because these massages are no joke no game and now my husband has to do it and he's rough i hate it but I, it needs to be done because it brings down your swelling and um drainage and all that i haven't drained since i haven't had any drainage since my fourth day I've been fine. My belly down below has been, you know, a little swollen, but nothing crazy. Um, that'll go down, do, you know, with the bruises and everything. But I feel like I was lucky. I was very, very lucky to not have so much pain. Um, I was very, very lucky, I think, because a lot of people, like I said, that I was seeing their videos, I was very discouraged. I didn't even want to get it anymore because they were like, it's so hurtful. Like, I'm such in pain. I'm such in pain. But listen, like, everybody is different. Everybody's body is different. And I, if you don't feel like, um, you know, if you feel like you could take the pain, you could take the pain. It, this is for you you get your bbl you get your body done and you look right how you want to look it ain't about a man it ain't about another girl it's all about how you want to look and that's why i did what i wanted to do because it's what i wanted to wake up to in the mirror and maybe i want to have a threesome with myself feel me all right all right y'all so we are out we're about to go ahead to the store i'm going to lose so that I could pick up my, um, I'm going to load so I could pick up some mirrors for you guys. So that you guys can see my one week post-op. Because I, because I broke mines before I left home to go to Miami, so that sucked <laughs> so i don't have any mirrors in the house right now for you guys to show my actual body so that's what i'm going to do and i'm also going to go pay for a fence my fence to be put up in my yard for my doggies my little frenchie make sure you go follow um the dot smoke official smoky on ig okay my little frenchie he's so funny and full of excitement and love go follow him you'll always have laughter in your life uh, so i'm just gonna like birds love shitting on my cars every single car they shit on they shit on my husband's car they shit on my car birds love shitting on our cars i don't know what it is i don't see nobody they even shit on my rental car 
out in Miami. It was just shutting up my rental cars. And it's like, why? Like, does that have something to do with me? You know what I mean? Like, but I need to try to pull this seat back a little, so maybe. It's a little uncomfortable. It really is. Uh, but as you guys can see, I'm doing it. <laughs> You just want to always make sure that your butt's hanging. Your butt should never touch the seat, right? So my butt's not touching the seat, so I'm good. But make sure your butt's touching the seat. So while we are, rope kills everywhere. Everywhere. I hope that I can even fit these mirrors in my doggone car. You guys, my car is so little, I don't know. it i hope so but you guys i'll be right back with you guys as soon as i pick up these mirrors from lowe's and uh then we could get into the debts the the in-depths of these do and do's and don'ts that they tell you not to and what to i'm a for my people that have a high um tolerance for pain check this out okay i'll be right back with y'all from Lowe's I got my mirrors so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into details first before I show you guys before I show you guys um, my body or anything so I myself am five odd if you want to say five zero and five feet and I weighed 115 pounds when I went into the doctor so um, that's part of my BMI I paid quite a grip <laughs> i will go ahead and cap it at twelve thousand uh for everything that's including like your massages because those are separate pays that's including your stay out in miami because you know, i got a hotel and i had a nice hotel uh as you will see i'll put that next i'll pull that up for you that video of the hotel where we where i stayed at i uh, didn't get a nurse because i had my um, aunt with me and she was able to assist me. I didn't need assistance much. So we're going to start from day one. Oh, I went to the doctor. I sh that's my day one and two video, which you guys can go check out after you get out this video. Today, I am seven days, which is my week post-op. And that's why I want to go ahead and show you guys my first week of my um, surgery, how it went, and how well I'm healing. I do love this doctor. This doctor that did the procedure was very well. I will go ahead in the descriptions again and leave that professional plastic surgery information down below in the descriptions for you. So go ahead and check that out. But before I go ahead and show you guys how well I've healed and um, well, how well I'm healing, I would like to go ahead and ask you to please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Watch your girl every time she drops a new video because I am coming with these videos. Like I'm going to do weekly for my BBL, and I'm also setting up my home, setting up pretty things. So I'll be doing my time lapse. I'm getting to bed soon, so I'll be having the time lapse on that. So you guys can go ahead and like subscribe and make sure you notify yourself by hitting that bell right there so that you are notified every time I drop a video. So uh, like I said, I was 115. I was 5 feet. I'm trying to think of anything else. You know, I went in and he did the drawings. I do have my before picture, which I will also go ahead and leave in the, um, and put it in the video for you guys to see. And then you'll see this weekly healing, uh, one week post-op healing. So give me one second, y'all, and I will go ahead and show you guys the work. One moment. I'll be back. Able to see this part right here, but I'm moving a little bit closer so that you guys are able to see it. Okay, so here I've had a lot, a lot of bruising. So this bruising, as well as my stomach area right here, you guys can see that I've had a lot of bruising. So right here is bruised really bad. And it's not blood, it's just bruised. It's like, it's just, you know, bruised. So I have bruises over here on my thighs as well. I have bruises on my back because they did take out the fat from my back also. So you guys can see that I have all bruises all over me. I am one week post up. And I have these. So I was prescribed, well not prescribed, but they gave me a 
they gave me a um like a little swelling and um bruising for swelling and bruising little thing that i can use a little tube of it's called arnica, arnica gel so if you were interested in getting a bbo i would definitely recommend you asking your doctor for this if they do sell it if they don't it's in cvs it's in rite aid it's like in all drug stores you can get this item which you will it like it really works so you guys are going to see the picture of my first i'll go ahead and post that um after i finish saying this i'll go ahead and put that in the video you'll see my it was two days post-op with so much more bruising i had so much bruising but i'm gonna go ahead and apply this now because i don't want you guys to think that i'm not using it like i'm you know just trying to advertise something because i'm not i do use it and it does help the swelling so Go ahead and put it on now for you guys. You don't need a lot. I don't use a lot. I just use like a little, you know, two fingers worth. And you just rub some on one thing, one hand, and you place it on a bruised area. So I really believe that it helps because I'm telling you, like, look at that picture from day two i was so bruised like way worse than this it was way worse and i'll go ahead and zoom in so that you guys can really see the bruising because i don't know if you see it but i was i'm bruised a lot and i'm bruised all over which is normal because it's a lipo fat transfer procedure so everywhere that they have taken every incision that they give you like right now is bothering me. I could say my stomach, my belly button is itching some because they did an incision through my belly button. I do have my under uh, my cheek. They had, I guess that's where they were going in to put the fat in. That part right there is, they, I guess they use like a glue method instead of stitches, but it itches so much. But that's a good thing because that's healing. Uh, I have to start doing my massages. My husband's going to do my lymph lymphatic massages for me. As well as... Um, as well as... Someone that I know. So, for me, you guys, it's not painful to touch anything other than my stomach. My stomach and my rib area is so, so sensitive. I can't... It feels like your skin is ripping. I'm not going to say it's pain because I'm not in pain. It's uncomfortable. I will use that word instead of pain. But you want to get it all over you, wherever you are bruised at. You don't want to not because I'm telling you, this is helping you to heal better and faster. Because bruises, you know how long a bruise could take, especially on our melanin skin, you know? It takes a while, so... You definitely want to go ahead and use that Annika gel. Now, my incision on my stomach, because I have, besides my belly button, they had two incisions. One was here and one was here. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel like anything. I could touch that with no problem. The only thing that really is sensitive to me at this moment, my seven days post-op, would be my side. And I don't know why, but my side is just, every, anytime I touch it, it just feels like it's ripping. So I don't mess with it. But I do have to have it messed with when I get my lymphatic massages. Because that's the point. They want you to go ahead and rub around all. And you have to have an oil. Get a good oil. Because my massage lady, I don't know what kind of oil she has. She has a magical oil. Because I was feeling good. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, it was hurting. You guys seen in my last video that I, it was hurting, but it also felt good and it did help me get my drainage out. As you guys can see, you, that is the point of your massage. You have to get your drainage out. My stomach was out here after surgery and look how flat it is now. So you wanna keep up with your massages. Your massages. You want to, even if you're leaving you know, from wherever you got your surgery, you wanna have a family member that knows how to do it or you know your spouse or someone who can massage your body because you want you don't want to just sit still and not have it come out. It's gonna come out if your wounds are closed. It's gonna come out the other way. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be massaging your body, even if you have to do it yourself. You want to just push down on your ribs like this hard, not 
I'm not doing it because it hurts me. I have to have someone else do it. I can't do it for myself. It really hurts. And you want to go ahead and do the same thing for your stomach. But what I was told my massage therapist, you want to go ahead and have your hands like this, right? In the fist. And then you want to go ahead and use the knuckles to bring down all of those toxins and waste that's in your body from the surgery, which you do need to get rid of because if you don't, you're going to have complications afterwards. So trust me on that. Now, another thing, uh, now that you guys have gone ahead and seen my bruising, I am, I feel like I'm healing pretty well. My last appointment, I did. They as well said I was healing really well and quick. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know the do's and the don'ts. Now, my doctor, I have, she, she, she was funny because I, she, I, I'm straight up with all my doctors. I always tell them, you know, I smoke marijuana. I don't do nicotine, but I do smoke marijuana. I always tell them that because I don't want to complicate anything for myself. So, one second. I lost my key, y'all. Okay, so my doctor, I'm going to go ahead and sit. So how I sit in my living room, because my bed's a little too high to do it, I'm not able to use my bed, so I'll be sitting in the living room for the next, like, six weeks. They want you to go ahead and not sit on your butt. So I have it, as you see, formed here. This is the butt pillow. Again, it's $80 once you go to the doctor. This is $80. I have two. I bought double and triple sometimes of everything because I just didn't want to be bothered with leaving one here and picking it up or whatever. So I have one for my living room. I have one for my vehicle because uh, today you guys seen I, just, I drove out. And um, the other one is just in case I lose this one. I have a lot of extra fajas. I wound up paying a lot of money. But let's get out of the money topic. This is your butt pillow. And I have this pillow here, my throw pillow, so that it doesn't have me sitting on my butt. So you're going to go ahead and, you know, have your thighs on the pillow. But you see my butt is not, let me move the pillow so you guys can see. My butt's hanging off of the pillow, okay? So you want your butt to be hanging off the pillow. Watch out, Paco. Watch out, Paco. Now, he's always up under me, you guys. <laughs> he's just the worst. So... As I was saying, I do inform my doctors of my recreational drug habit. <laughs> and she told me, you know, what do you smoke out of? I said, you know, the papers, not uh, raw. I do use roll up sometimes. And so she said, you know, no, no nicotine. So I said, okay, well, is it okay for me to smoke, you know, out of a bong? I, she's, her exact words, end quote. <laughs> I can't tell you that, <laughs> out quote. <laughs> so I took that as a note and I went to get me one of these little personal, it's a little Rick and Morty personal bong. You'll see the weed in it. <laughs> so um, I went and brought this. So when I'm home, cause this is a personal, like if I'm out or something, I got a little butt on me, I'll go ahead and put it in there and do what I gotta do. But for home, I went and brought me this pretty little baby. Paco, what is you doing? You always in my stuff. So for home, I went and brought her, okay? So that's a do, okay? They tell you, yo, you can't smoke for three months or whatever. Weed is a natural plant that is grown from this earth. As long as you are not using a nicotine product to smoke it, you will be okay. So, guess what? Uh-oh, y'all. I'm good for three months. You feel me? And for those of y'all who don't smoke, you know, then that's a great thing because you won't have to try to work around it. I don't really like smoking out of a bong. I feel like it's a waste of my 
but but a lot of people do um so that's a do you can do that just not using a nicotine product you want to sit on your pillow like i'm telling you people say oh don't sit nowhere for all this time when you sit you don't have to lay on your stomach for three months you don't have to lay on your stomach for six weeks you just sit on this butt pillow correctly and your butt will heal correctly, okay? So, like I said, make sure your butt cheeks, your thighs, only your thighs are on it. Once again, let me pull this down for you guys. Once again, well, Paco is in the way. Watch out, Paco. So, you guys can see that the pillow's right here, which is where my thigh is, and then my butt is here, okay? So, it's not, and you see my hand? Go under it. My butt's not touching the the chair at all it's lifted because of um it's lifted because of the pillow so you can sit that's a do and um let's see what else do the what, what else do i like i said i wasn't in pain so much everybody's pain tolerance level is different i'm able to take a lot of pain clearly because the second day as you see in my um video prior to this video about my bbo day one and two running around i went and brought my little puppy smokey okay he's so cute make sure you go follow him i always say that <laughs> um on instagram the dot smokey official smokey i'm sorry i always say smokey the dot official smokey but you'll also be in the description link below i'm thinking of anything else that you know i could think of to help you guys get through your bbo um and healing process correctly so um i do have i was prescribed this light is getting my nerves so i was prescribed pills i have an antibiotic i have two pain medicines and i also have um uh, muscle spasm medicine and i have one more but i finished it and i think i threw it away out in miami so i can't remember what exactly what that was for but literally everything was, it helped. Like I didn't have no pain. I could say I didn't have no pain. Only pain I had was getting up out the bed because you have to, you know, get up by yourself pretty much. Or if you have a nurse, you got to, you know, get up. But you got to still push yourself. And you have no stomach muscle at this point. So it's kind of hard to just, you know, jump up or just get up. So what I would do, okay, when I'm laying down is... Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I was doing when I was laying down to get up. I lay down, which I'm, it's not hard for me to lay down now. I, I'm okay laying down. But you do have your muscle spasms when you move around too much. Um, so, But I could deal with them. So when I was laying down, I would lay down like this. I always lay like this, my hands on my face or my hands out. And for that reason is because it's kind of... It's hard to get up, but it's kind of, it's way easier to do it this way. So what I would do is go like this. I would crunch up like my elbows and my hands on the thing, on the bed, with my hair like this, okay? And what I would do is push my back up first, which is my butt, okay? And then I would just go one leg off. I didn't push up too high because you don't want to push up too high because you're getting up. So I have one leg come off, and then the other leg will come up, okay? You bring your other leg up on the chair the, or the bed, the actual thing, and then you bring this arm up, and then I brought this arm up, and then I will bring my leg off, okay? So that was my technique on getting up, and I'm not going to sit here and say it was easy because, trust me, it was nowhere near easy. It was it was hard. The first two days are your hardest days. Although I was able to get up and do things that day, your first two days are your horrible days. Like period. It doesn't matter if you're not in pain or if you're if you are in pain. It's just a bad two days. I don't know. I can't explain. But I mean, it's nothing like where oh my god, you know, you shouldn't get it or whatever. It, it's something you if you could tolerate pain just a little bit you could go ahead and do it this like and a lot of people i was only 115 pounds going in and i didn't even think i had enough fat to go ahead and get my fat transfer 
I, and if I did, if they told me I didn't have enough fat, I would have just throw it away and just have my, you know, stomach because I didn't want the stomach. My stomach was looking crazy. It was covering my tattoo. I didn't appreciate all that fat. So <laughs> your girl went and got her fat taken out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could tell you guys for your surgery. Um, just going with a positive mind. Definitely always go with, go in with that with a positive mindset. Cause I was sitting with the doctor, well, the nurse before the doctor, and I was like, you know, I don't think I have enough fat, and just all these negative comments that I was making, you know. And she just keeps telling me, you know, be positive, be positive, be positive, and it it's true, be positive because you don't want to go in with a mindset that you're gonna. And I didn't go in with the mindset oh, I'm gonna be in pain. You probably are gonna be in pain okay more than likely your first two days and you may be in pain longer than that but you don't want to go into it thinking that and and na nasty like that because then you're only gonna feel like you know crap all over like just all mentally emotionally definitely physically so you want to have a positive mindset and uh, i think honestly i probably wasn't in pain so much because this is something that i was looking forward to doing and i did it so it's probably why i was able to get up on the second day and run around to 10 different banks and get a puppy and all this crap so um uh, let me see what else i don't think there's anything else you guys except for me letting you know that you are you you don't have to listen to no one if you want to go ahead and enhance your body with your own fat, you're not getting silicone. That's your body. You can do it. Don't allow anyone to make you feel like, oh, well, now you, you know, now you got a butt. Well, first of all, I've been had a butt. I just changed the way my butt looks. You know what I'm saying? But don't let the negative comments get to you. Um, if you need to gain weight, I suggest, because I honestly was 110. And I was 110 for maybe like, uh, I say a month and a half or whatever. I just ate, ate, ate fast food. Eat, 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 eat. I swear to y'all, I ate fast food and I gained five pounds in a month for my surgery. I was 115. I couldn't go on 110. They told me I was too, like, I didn't have enough weight. Your BMI has to be up to par. So my BMI was great at that 115, which I was so happy that I was able to even pull off getting to 115 for my surgery. What's up, baby? So... Hi, babe. So make sure that your BMI is good and just go into it positive. Like, ladies, listen, y'all don't don't listen to nobody. That's all I'm saying. Like, because trust me, I've had comments where people are like, you know, why are you doing that? And da, 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 da. like, you think it's a flex, stuff like that. It, 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 it don't have to do with nothing being a flex. It don't have to do with nothing um, of people like mind your business that's what that's the mindset that you have to have just tell, like mind your business that's it but don't go in negative and everything will be okay like trust me everything's gonna be good and i already told you that you know how you guys are able to get around that smoking get you a bong because you can't use no tobacco products but ladies and gentlemen Make sure you go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time your girl drops a video. Every week, I will drop my video showing my bruises just so that you guys can see the truth in that um, Arnica gel. And it does help your healing, your swelling, and bruising. So I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video.